ensure sterility of the area where the epidural is going to be placed and to ensure a septic technique. So the next thing that the operator is going to do after a sterile wash of their hands and wearing sterile gloves is they're going to proceed to place a sterile drape on the patient's back. Then the epidural kit is set up for the epidural procedure. With local anesthetic placed in the dra in the in the trays. Usually a larger syringe is used for the loss of resistance technique of the epidural as well as an epidural tui needle is used. As you can see there is a special tip to the needle and there's a stylet inside. The catheter will feed through the large bore of this needle into the epidural space once the epidural space has been obtained through a loss of resistance technique. This is the epidural catheter that will feed through the epidural needle, like so. Okay. The epidural has got markings on it. The epidural catheter has markings on it to help gauge the distance that you want to thread the epidural into the patient's back. Now that the prep has dried on the patient's back. Yeah, you so to landmark the epidural, <clears throat> one pal palpates the patient on the uh, posterior superior iliac crest to palpate um, either the L23 or the L34 um, interspaces. Um, on this patient model, there is the sacrum which is delineated, the L5 vertebrae, the L4, the L3, and the L2. The idea for the epidural is, is to go in the interspace between the L23 vertebrae or the L34 vertebrae for uh, an, a labor epidural. Occasionally, one needs to go down to the L4-5. Um, because of patient anat patient anatomical considerations. Um, in Go. So a little bit of local anesthetic is injected into the skin and a wheel is created on the patient's skin to produce local anesthesia over the site where the epidural needle is going to be placed. Once the local anesthetic is injected, the epidural needle is then placed in the interspace between the L23 and the L between the in the L23 interspace. The epidural needle is then advanced until the classic feel of the ligaments is obtained. Once this is obtained, the stylet of the epidural needle is removed. A syringe is then placed on the end of the epidural needle and a classic loss of resistance technique is initiated. And once loss of resistance is obtained, the epidural space has been found. The epidural catheter is thread into the epidural space. Once the epidural needle, once the epidural catheter has been thread, the needle is withdrawn, holding the epidural catheter in place. And the epidural. So the epidural connector is then placed and a filter 
will then be attached to the epidural connector, like so. And the test dose of local anesthetic is given. The epidural is then secured. The epidural is then taped into the patient's, onto the patient's back and further loading doses are given until analgesia is obtained.